नमस्कार वेलकम टू ए आई सी टी इन साइट्स अ डाइवर्स शो ऑन इनोवेशन एजुकेशन स्टार्टअप एंटरप्रनोरशिप एंड मच मोर इन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ ए आई सी टी इन साइट्स वी विल डिस्कस द ए आई सी टी क्यू आई पी पी जी सर्टिफिकेट प्रोग्राम इन एमर्जिंग एरियाज अ सिग्निफिकेंट इनिशिएटिव फॉर द अकेडमिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स बिलोंगिंग टू कोर इंजीनियरिंग डिसिप्लिन To discuss more on this, we have Dr. Sanjay Pratihar from Triple IIT Kalyani and Dr. Sudhakar Modern from IIT Jammu. Welcome to the show, sir. Namaste. Sir, first question would be: What was the emerging area at your institute, and how many participants enrolled for the program? To you, sir. So, I am from Indian Institute of Information Technology, Kalyani. In our institute, we uh, had the course on blockchain and cyber security. and number of participants for the program were 34 this time and uh, at iit jammu namaste so i am sudhakar from iit jammu so we had 45 uh, 50 students so we are participating in the emerging area of internet of things which is the more popular at present yeah. so what was the emerging area at your sir uh, at your institute it was blockchain and cyber security is blockchain Can you give us an overview how this AICT UIP PG certificate program was uh, structured and executed at your uh, institute? So actually, uh, uh, once we received the notification from AICT this time, uh, so frankly speaking, we didn't get much time to prepare for that in this year. But even that, with the proper involvement of our faculty members and uh, the topmost administration, uh, we could manage it uh, properly. and in the course curriculum we had uh, subjects or courses like data science blockchain cyber security and also some basic courses of computer programming data structures like that and overall uh, we managed uh, to design the course properly and and it was a good curriculum so from iit jammu so the iot course because it is basically interdisciplinary mm -hmm. the participants are interdisciplinary as well as the instructors are interdisciplinary so we have the participants from chemical engineering mechanical electronics electrical the faculty is from electronics and csc as well as industries so we had uh, me dr sudhakar mm -hmm. dr uh, siddharth from csc dr shekhu from csc and we have dr samvit from california us as well as professor gaurav from iit bombay these are the instruct uh, instructors and we make it as much as hands on so mm -hmm. the students can do more on hands on perspective as well as they made the projects up to a level of trl 7 to trl 9 so we had the showcase the things to the our director as well as the act director mm -hmm. to make it successful yeah. so sir what was the response of faculties who enrolled for the program were uh, they excited yes it was a very good response we have received uh, in the initial days uh, we were thinking of that that uh, how actually the uh, Uh, teachers are coming up from the different uh, parts of the country uh, how will we manage to uh, means in all uh, aspect like their accommodation uh, foodings and and after that the uh, curriculum obviously so uh, they enjoyed it a lot and we also enjoyed at our side so it was a proper management or organization you can say so what was the uh, overall enthusiasm at iit jammu so as you know the jammu is the top iit yeah. in terms of height as mm -hmm. well as in terms of the map so mm -hmm. uh, the location is very greenery and uh, the campus is very new the students has enjoyed the facilities and uh, uh, luckily the most of the students are from the south so oh. they came to the north and they experienced that different uh, geographical area they loved the location as well as in terms of learning so we have the amalgamation of all the aspects of industry academia and different collaborations we made it very interactive and the students able to experience it and they are now taking it to their colleges, colleges. and they already started the new courses new labs mm -hmm. in their institutes and they are telling that the feedback they are receiving we are very happy for that so so was it challenging to conduct the program in hybrid mode and how did you ensure smooth coordination in conducting the classes in both offline and uh, online mode okay in my opinion uh, i think that the duration of the offline part can be increased and uh, on the online part as uh, the faculty members involved at the uh, institutes uh, they are being involved aside or beside their 
other curriculum activities mm. and uh, normally it was being organized by many of the institutes mainly in the evening time or in the afternoon after 5 pm 6 pm so sometimes it looks like that the uh, that timing is not very proper so so it can it be something like offline mode hours can be increased and online hours can be decreased so that will be a fruitful thing i guess so it's a kind of a suggestion yeah, yeah. Yes. was it challenging at iit jammu the mode of the program and apart from just the mode what are the other challenges you faced while conducting <coughs> the program so uh, in terms of conducting the program so offline classes which happened in july so it was smooth mm -hmm. then we asked the students you come up with one slot which is suitable for you so mm -hmm. that they came up with a daily 12:30 to 1:30 so it went very well smooth till the ending the only part is the traveling part so yeah. they has to take off from their uh, regular load and they has to take the uh, leave applications from their institutes the we want more enforcement on the institutes to allow them to uh, able to take this very effectively so that is the main suggestions from our side and other challenges did you face any challenges uh, apart from the challenges we didn't faced much because mm. uh, the students basically they are enthusiastic so we didn't face much challenges from our side yeah. so overall what was the feedback of the students after they completed the program so they are very happy and uh, they are able to see the products mostly because our course is mostly on hands on mm. they are and they are from civil mechanical they applied the iot technology mm -hmm. in the core branches and they came up with the projects which are of hands on so overall they are very happy and uh, they uh, go to their colleges with the learning of iot and now they are implementing the iot in their students and their course levels so they are very happy for that any successful story from your institute uh, we have noticed some good amount of uh, means carrying out of project work yes. so what uh, at the initial level but we we have seen that they may be uh, taken towards the publication type of things also so uh, we have seen some types of project works at the end so that was something good because in in the feedback we have heard from many candidates that uh, participants that at, at the beginning days uh, they were actually afraid that how these ai ml things mm -hmm. computer science programming data structure of this thing uh, they will be means comfortable with but at the end towards the end of the semester or course so uh, they have mentioned it that that they are now quite comfortable with data structure programming and this ai modules machine learning modules or technology so that is something good and uh, encouraging i think so uh, did you guys give any sort of hands on experience if yes can you elaborate the practical exposure they got uh, while getting trained at your institute so in terms of uh, as i said mm. so we had a uh, five six projects yeah which are oriented towards to the social relevant problems mm. and related to their fields so we have e bike which is of trl level 7 level as well as we had a, a robot which will go through the campus and detect who are the students moving out of the classes oh. <laughs> and they'll give the alarm to the uh, hods and all these things so as well as child care system where uh, parents are away So uh, the chains will be secure position. So if somebody comes, it will detect that whether that person is related to or not related. So that it will open or close the lock and all these things. And in terms of civil part, they came up with the structure monitoring system mm -hmm. by using IoT. So they can monitor the bridges, and uh, you can see that it is very smart India uh, and the smart city side. So IoT is the main part. So mechanical part they has able to make civil part they are able to make. smart homes smart cities so we are able to bring the projects which are relevant to their uh, core discipline with the iot technology how we can make it smart so with this they are very satisfied with the outcome such so so how do you see uh, this uh, overall program of aict qlp pg certificate is contributing to the uh, improving the technical education of india yes so that is uh, means the great point to discuss so i think that with the population of 1.5 billion so india has lots of uh, possibilities and and you can say uh, prospects and as we are going towards uh, industry 4.0 or industry revolution of the next grade or next stage so these things when you discuss then obviously for this large population 
uh, a significant improvement in the AI ML side must be there. Yeah. Otherwise, in the economy, uh, we will not be able to contribute in that um, that much mm -hmm. or in that level. So that is only possible when uh, across the country, all the educational institutes uh, are actually the which are core branches. Close core branches teachers are actually given that skill or or the training uh, so that they can uh, further uh, propagate it to the students uh, of those core branches. So, so that can basically, so how we know that maybe out of this big initiative by the ICT, uh, one, two unicorns can be created someday mm. by five years or ten years. Mm. So that will be great. So one, two such creation will be the contribution to the country. Mm. What's your take on this? So upskilling and reskilling, that is the need of the hour. So mm. this AACT put up the seed mm -hmm. by DG Sitaramji yeah. to buy this initiative. Mm. So this seed will grow much in multiplication factor. So now one institute can train 50 candidates. Mm. Those 50 candidates can go to their colleges and each one can train hundreds of students. So like that, the uh, main objective of reskilling and upskilling in emerging areas will make an impact and uh, as we said, so all the big big nations like USA, mm -hmm. UK, they are leading in it. So now it is uh, India who has to lead the world. So with this type of skills, mm -hmm. many things will come up in future. And uh, to continue this upgradation, we are now coming with the management uh, yes. QIP PG certificate program as well. Yes. So thank you so much, uh, Professor Sanjoy and Professor Sudhakar for sharing this valuable insights with us. It's truly inspiring to see how AICT's initiative are empowering faculty members and enhancing technical education in India. Once again, thank you for joining us and for sharing your valuable contribution to this program. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Thank you.